All right, so I've been thinking about this overnight, about my little pins here, how it's you know hard to go in and out, and uh, potentially why my brake pads actually uh, wearing out faster now than they did when they were new. When they, when they were new, um, I think my original brake pads lasted something like twenty thousand miles or or even more. The new and this last one lasted like maybe five thousand miles. Uh, so I've been thinking about it. I think part of the reason is because these pins here, you know, I have mentioned on the last video that, you know, they were, you know, from the corrosion stuff, they just hard to pull in and out when, when they were new. They, I was able to pull this out without any, uh, any resistance. So, that's, so I think that it's that corrosion. Uh, <clears throat> you know, the brake pads, it has the, the, the two little rings where they, where this pin slips in. All right. So I think the corrosion just makes it so tight, tight that uh, because even right now slipping it in, um, you know, it doesn't go in very, very uh, smooth. So I think the corrosion, because what happens when when it oxidizes, it kind of expands a little bit. Uh, so so I think that uh, causes the road the brake pads to actually to catch. So basically, when the, as the brake pad squeezes in, and when you when let go of the brakes. You know, it should pop out back a little bit, but uh, but in this case, I think because there's so much resistance here, that it doesn't really go out back as as much as it's supposed to. So there's a lot of drag. So I think that drag could potentially be be what's causing my brake pads to wear out faster. So basically, I'm gonna sand this down. I have a, I guess this is a 180 grit. Uh, this is plumbing, uh, copper pipe, uh, sandpaper. So that's the only sandpaper I have. Um, so that's what I'm gonna use, and I'm gonna connect it to my uh, my uh, impact driver here with a little five millimeter Allen, right, for the head right here. I'm just gonna spin it, and hopefully this will be pretty fast. Oops. Well, look at that. You see, actually, see the corrosion coming off pretty quickly. Uh, you know, this is, even though it says 180, it feels. Man, it feels coarser than 180. So, just a little bit like that. I'm gonna go a little bit more. I'm gonna get this thing so that was it's uh, a lot cleaner. I think it'll uh, <coughs> it'll get rid of that resistance. So most of it's gone. Most of that corrosion's gone. I guess I actually see some pitting, some pitting from the corrosion right here. So you know this thing is it's a stainless steel. As far as I could tell, it's a stainless steel uh, a bolt. But you know, just because it's stainless doesn't mean it doesn't corrode. Everything corrodes. It's just stainless takes longer to corrode. It just takes a little bit longer to corrode. So a little bit more. I'm gonna get it so that it's nice and shiny. Or at least as shiny as I can with, with the 180 grit. So it's getting pretty close. It's almost, you know, besides the, the little pittings, it looks almost like it was new. Almost. A little bit more. Let me try it. Let me try a test fit real quick. See how. Ooh, look at that. 
just that alone also it goes right to the calipers with these right there wow what a big difference that was a huge difference so uh yeah so I, that's what i suggest you guys do uh you know, get things all corroded now it's just dirty you can see the dirtiness now so i just suggest you guys do that So yeah, so that was a big improvement. Prior to this, I had to actually like, you know, I had to like really yank on this thing to, to get it out. But now it just slides right in nice and smooth into the caliper. So yeah, so so hopefully this will, this will uh, cure my uh, my uh, fast pad wear. All right, see you guys next time.